I'm trying to film a video, guys. What is up, guys? Brianna here. I am driving around on a Saturday, about to do a little side hustling. Um, I work for Waiter, for those of you that don't know. I have a full-time job as well, but I do this on the side. So I am heading out there to make some money and I figured I would go ahead and start filming my Q&A video, my about me video. If that's something that you care about and that you want to watch, go ahead and keep on watching. This is going to be kind of interesting because I'm picking up orders while I drive and while I film. So it might be a little bit choppy, but I'm going to try my best to not do cuts every five seconds. So let's go ahead and get started on question number one. Question? Oh, it's going to be like that. Okay. I'm trying to film a video, guys. Question number one. What is your name, age, and occupation? No one actually asked that. Um, I asked that for myself so that I could have something to talk about. So, my name is Brianna. B-R-I-A-N-A. I wanted to name my channel Brie Budgets, but there was already a, a Brie, I think, budget with Brie, I think. So, I just went ahead and put my full name in there, which is Brie Anna. That's how you pronounce it. I am 27 years old, and a guy is watching me talk to myself. <laughs> um, I'm 27 years old, and I work full-time as a secretary at an HVAC company, which is heating and air conditioning, if you don't know. That's what I do full time. And then, like I said a second ago, I work part time as a waiter, waiter delivery driver, which I literally only do like a couple of hours a day, maybe four days a week, probably. But I had a really good month last month, and I'm aiming to have a good month in April. So we're starting today. Actually, I started last night, but you know what I mean. Next question, am I married and do I have kids? I am not married and I do not have kids, no. I might be just be making this up, but I feel like it's kind of rare to not be married and not have kids by the age of 27, but I ain't mad about it. I mean, it'd be cool to be married, but I'm not. <laughs> okay, the next question is what made me start my budget budgeting journey? So a few years ago in 2017, I do not have very much money at all, like almost no money. <laughs> I will put a screenshot right here of what my bank account looked like because I, I have that saved on my phone as a reminder of where I started and how far I've come. So in 2017, I had no money. 2018, I had no money. 2019, I had some money. And then at the very beginning of 2020, my older sister, she sent me a link to a cash envelope stuffing video. That was the beginning of 2020, like I said. And I watched it and I had never heard of that method before. So I watched it and I was like, this is genius. This is the smartest thing I've ever seen. So I started watching the videos a lot. And I think the same day I got on Amazon and I was like, I'm gonna do this. I was searching for like wallets and binders and envelopes and stuff like that so that's when i got my first wallet which is a wallet i still use so that's where i started i got i was just tired of never having money i was constantly i don't have money i don't have money i was just pinching pennies not because i wanted to be frugal but because i had to be because i did not have money to spare at all so that is why I started my budgeting journey and that's how I got started on the envelope method is my older sister sent me the link to a YouTube video. I wish I knew who it was. It might have been Budget Mom or someone that's super popular like that. I'm not 100% sure but that's how I got started and that's how I learned about the envelope method. Next question is how have your views about money changed since you started budgeting? That's a really good question. That's deep. How have my views changed on money? Like I said before, I used to not have money and growing up, it was always kind of a subject of, like kind of a touchy subject, I guess. And I wanted to get to the point where it wasn't something to stress about 24 seven. 
So a few years ago, I, like I keep saying, I'm sorry, I didn't have a lot of money, barely any money. <laughs> so it was always something that I felt that I just was never going to be able to have. I had the view of money, there's not enough to go around. Like I just can't, I, I'll never be able to have money like I want to have. And ever since I started budgeting and using the cash envelope method, I now realize that with organization and consistency and just a, honestly a positive mindset, there is plenty of money to go around. You can have it, but it's your responsibility to use it correctly and don't just blow it on whatever you want. So I'm not a very good explainer, but I use my money in smarter ways. I don't just frivolously spend it left and right. I think about my purchases all the way through. I will, if I say something that I want, I'll go a month without getting it just to make sure that I really want it. And if that month or two weeks or whatever goes by and I don't think about it anymore, well then that means I didn't really need it or want it that bad in the first place. So that's a really good um, way of doing things. If you see a pair of shoes that you want, but maybe a little bit more than you want to spend for them, go a couple of weeks to a month. And if you can't stop thinking about those shoes, then go get them. And if you don't think about the shoes anymore and you forget you ever even saw them, that just goes to show that had you spent money on those shoes, they might just sit in your closet for the rest of your life. And it was a poor purchase. So am I getting off topic? Yeah, that's how my views have changed on money. <laughs> I realized that there's plenty of go, plenty to go around and I can get my hands on it. And as long as they, as long as I don't blow it willy nilly, then it will add up and I won't be poor anymore. Next question is, how did I get candy? Candy is my rescue that I've had since I believe 2017 is when I got her. She is about five years old now and how I got her, I was looking online. I knew I wanted to adopt a dog. So I was looking online um, on a local pet rescues website and I found a dog that I thought was cute. I was like, oh, this will be the, a great dog for me. And I knew they have pet adoptions at the local Petco, I think it is. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna go up there on Saturday and get this dog, which is the dog that I saw online. So I went up there and I was looking around for the dog and I didn't see it immediately. But I wasn't there for very long. And someone asked me, hey, are you looking for anything specific? And I said, yeah, I'm looking for whatever the dog's name was. And we were walking by the, they have like a, a cooled and heated trailer. It was the middle of summer, so it was cooled. But they had a trailer with the smaller dogs in it. And I glanced over and I saw the most precious dog I've ever seen in my entire life up there in one of the cages. And it was Candy. And I, I said, can I hold her? I want to hold her. And so they were like, sure, yeah, of course. So they handed me to her and I was like, I'm adopting her. I just, from the moment I saw her and then I held her, I was like, this is my dog. Like, I don't even want to see the other dog, which is really sad, actually. I wish I could adopt every dog in the whole wide world, but I can't. But that's how I found Candy. I just literally was love at first sight. I saw her and I knew that I was taking her home with me that day. So I did. And that's how I got Candy. Okay, let's do another question. Next one is... What are some financial goals that I plan on sharing with my boyfriend? So that's a really good question. It's honestly not something that I had thought about before. Um, I briefly mentioned in a cash saving video that he wires me his money, meaning we do not live near each other. We live two hours away from one another and we don't have any combined finances or anything, obviously, because that would be silly if you don't live together. And so we don't have any combined goals really so to speak obviously we love to travel and we pretty much split everything he probably pays for things more often than I do but we try to kind of alternate like if we go out to eat or we go to a movie or something it'll be like you get dinner and I'll get the movie or you pay for gas and I'll pay for 
bowling or whatever, you know. So we kind of split things and so yeah, nothing's really combined. And obviously down the road, that'll be a conversation that we have, but for now, it, the answer is nothing, I don't think. At least not that he's mentioned to me, so. I would say traveling is a big one. We love traveling, but like I said, even in that category, we both pay for things. Like, I'll pay for the rental and he'll pay for renting jet skis or, you know, something like that. So, yeah, everything's pretty much split fairly evenly. Obviously, he makes more money than I do, so he pays for stuff more, I would say, but will I do a budget with me in the future? I don't personally enjoy watching budget with me videos. Um, I'm not sure why. I think I just, I don't really like to watch people like write and stuff. So I personally wouldn't make a video that I wouldn't want to watch myself. So no, I don't think I will do budget with me videos anytime soon. I write my budgets. I'll, I'll actually show you a picture. Not a picture. I'm not gonna show you a picture, but I'll show you what my budget <clears throat> looks like. It literally just looks like this. This is <laughs> my budgeting sheet. Like I don't do stickers or anything. I just have this little spiral notebook and this is what I write my budget on. And I don't feel like that would be very interesting. If you guys just really wanted to see that, I might do it, but um, long story short, no, I don't think I will. Let's see what's next. What keeps me motivated to budget and save? So my biggest motivation right now, I would say, is I really want to buy a house. Like really, really, really bad and the market is crazy right now and I know that, but that's my biggest goal is to save enough money for a house. So that's what keeps me motivated right now. Um, every purchase I make, I think, is it more important to buy this, whatever it is, or is it more important to put this money toward a house? And more often than not, it's more important for me to put the money toward a house. So that's what keeps me motivated. I didn't know if there was another part of that question. Oh, Jesus, those speed bumps though. I'm delivering to a hospital right now. <clears throat> I could see if you already have a house and you already have the car that you want, I feel like it would be kind of hard to stay motivated sometimes if you don't have a big goal to save for. So I would say if you're having a hard time staying on track and you're getting burnt out and stuff like that, I would say set up a goal for yourself. Say you want to go on vacation to the Bahamas in a couple of years or in a year or whatever. Give yourself a big goal. If you don't have goals, you're never going to accomplish anything in life, no matter what it is. In my opinion, that's how I feel. So I set big goals for myself and that is how I stay motivated with my budgeting journey. All right, next question is, what is my favorite envelope to stuff? Oh, let's see here. My favorite envelope to stuff, I would say travel. Definitely travel. I love to take road trips, see new places, do new things. So travel is definitely my favorite envelope to stuff. And the second part of that question is which is your least favorite? least favorite to stuff is pr honestly probably my food slash grocery envelope because it just goes so fast like I put money in there and then, then like two days later it's completely empty and that's the whole point of the envelope I understand that but still I don't like envelopes that don't stack up like I want to see that money stack up so whenever I have an envelope that's just gone in a day not a fan have you ever picked up an extra shift or worked a side hustle to stuff more money Yes, not specifically for a video, but obviously I have a side hustle just to make more money in general so that I can stuff more money in general. I haven't done it just for a video, just to say, oh, I wanna show people more money. No, I wouldn't say that, but I do work a side hustle so that I have more money just in general. And then I'm gonna do one more question and it's not a question that anyone asked, but I just wanna kinda, you know, throw it out there you know so where will my channel go in the future 
obviously all I've done right now is cash envelope stuffing videos and I will always do that but I wanted to throw it out there that in the future my video will document my house buying journey whenever that comes around and I want to know from you guys if you'd be interested in seeing different videos like let me think you know documenting my house buying journey is something that I will for sure do in the future whenever that comes I don't know when that's gonna be but whenever it does happen I will be documenting that so let me know if there's anything else that you would like to see because I'm cl completely open to suggestions and if you don't want to see any of that and you just want me to do cash envelope stuffing videos let me know that too so because I make videos for you guys so I am gonna wrap up this video here I need to pay attention to deliveries and orders and uh, the road and other cars so thank you so much for watching I hope you found it interesting and if there's anything else that you would like to know about me let me know down below and I will do a Q&A video in the future and I will just write down the questions until I get enough to make an, a video so that's kind of what I did this time around so thank you for watching I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your weekend and thank you for always watching thank you for getting me to a thousand subscribers thank you for this thank you for that thank you for everything I love you guys and I will see you guys next week. Bye. You have to pour side. I'm obsessed with it, but it's bougie and like they have. Do you guys see? They're like a linen. They're a beautiful linen. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful.